friends, Rob here. Welcome to Chime Coaching. In this fun video, we're going to talk about hackathons in America and an awesome, incredible hackathon that's coming up that you guys don't want to miss. Check it out. So one of the big things in America for international students that they get involved with was hackathons. I've got so many friends involved in them. Crazy stories. We're going to hear some of those today. At Chime Coaching, we're all about helping you guys in your difficult journeys in America be more successful. So we've got some great stories today from Parthike and Sedant. If you guys are new at Chime Coaching, don't forget to subscribe. Um, that helps us stay connected so you get more great videos to help you be successful here in America. And you guys can also connect with us online on social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. And yeah, we want to continue the conversation, help each other out, help you guys achieve your goals here in America. All right, Parthike, Sedant, introduce yourselves. Thank you, Rob. I would like to say that I'm a grad student at Navidhi School of Management. I'm currently doing my master's in business analytics. I came to US in spring 18. It has been a year and it's like a lot of a good journey. I've been doing a lot of good stuff. I was involved in a lot of clubs. And right now I'm president of Intelligence Analytics Society, which is a cool thing. Yeah. As we have a lot of swag about it. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Really. Try is awesome today. <laughs> Hi, my name is Siddhant Rath and now I'm currently pursuing a Masters in Information Technology Management and I joined in Spring 18. Mm -hmm. Currently, I am pursuing, uh, my, inter I'm pursuing my internship in Data Science at at and The coursework, the, this club work and mm -hmm. uh, internship, like, it's going like a hectic, quite hectic job. But really, I'm enjoying everything, like I'm just studying and working for the club and, you know. So for all the non-technical people out there like me, what is a hackathon? Yeah, that's a good question. You know what? I still remember when I attended my first hackathon in ID Delhi. I went all along with my friends alone in, in an environment which was outside my comfort zone. Hmm. It was a programming related hackathon where I was working along with my friends together. Although it was a different experience, but I learned a lot. Hmm. The hackathon which we are organizing this time, it's most related to data science and data analytics. The data set is provided by industry partners and people will be working on real-time problems which the spawn, uh, our industry partners are facing. Mm. So this will be a new experience, they will be doing this by themselves in a confined environment and it makes them learn a lot. It's a combined effort of a group of people like maybe a programmer, or a coder, a software designer mm -hmm. to a particular industry level challenge. I mean, in a confined environment, they are given a set of time, and within that set of time, they have to do something really, very really quick and valuable. Mm -hmm. So, why would it be helpful for you to know what IAS stands for? IAS stands for Intelligence Analytics Society. It is one of the leading analytics clubs in JSON. Mm -hmm. Our core vision is to enable students to know more about what's happening in industry, mm -hmm. what's the uh, standard practices, what kind of skills they want to upgrade with, and when they are graduated. They should not be in a state of shock. They should be aware about what's happening. So our vision is to enable the students and to come up with more events, which are mostly related to networking, workshops, hackathons. Mm -hmm. So that's the core idea. Awesome. And this is even older than the business analytics program introduced in UTD. Never mind, he's from business analytics. IAS is older than your program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have this awesome event coming up the challenge 4.0 tell us what is this hackathon why do people want to not miss out on this so here this is like this consists of two rounds and the first round the, the data set will be prepared by the faculties and the IAS senior officers mm -hmm. and then this will be and people will submit their code the code report and the presentation of the insights which they have uh, found out from their analysis they will submit those uh, by a mail email and uh, the professors there are a set of group of professors we have already sort of, uh, we have already listed out and they will just evaluate all the, their performance and we will sort this top 10 groups out of the given number of groups which they have submitted okay and then 
they will be invited for the second round and in the second round within confined environment they will be provided industry level data set and our definitely our sponsors will provide the data set mm -hmm. and within six hours of stipulated time they need to figure it out whatever the given step the judgment the panel member consists of uh, two members from industry and two members from our own faculty but that six hours is crazy six hours is crazy yeah. and of course everything will be provided like within mm -hmm. six hours they are not allowed to go outside so we will take okay. care of that they are getting everything okay Challenge 4.0. Yeah. Uh, I guess there's a few iterations beforehand. Yeah. So, what's new about this one being the fourth one? Up to the third edition, like till ISO 3.0, it was a Texas level event. But this time, we are expanding our horizon. We are going beyond Texas. So, universities from uh, Louisiana, uh, universities from Oklahoma, even from the Boston's, uh, we have sent invitation to them and this the university from this state, these three states, they have given us confirmation that students are participating from these three universities. And a couple of other univers universities, we have sent them invitations and we have yet to get the confirmation and we hopefully will get more and more participants from whole nationwide. Yeah. But this time, what we have planned that any team who will make to the second round, that means top 10 team will get something. Okay, definitely the top three performer team will get whatever the desired amount of the gift prizes. Rest seven teams will get some gift. The unique selling point of this event, uh, you can say that the probability of getting something is much higher than the rest of the events. Mm -hmm. And what is the, the top prize that they can possibly win? Top three okay. spots will have a collective prize money of $2,050. Awesome. Yeah, and the remaining seven teams who are going to be there, they will be getting some goodies about it. It's like a still, it's a secret. That's mm -hmm. kind of a confidence that we are keeping. Okay. It's not a confidence, it's mm -hmm. like a secret thing. If they tell me, they'll have to hack me. <laughs> <laughs> and apart from that, we forgot to tell you the first round, mm -hmm. the teams are going to submit the codes successfully, they will be eligible for a data camp lottery. Mm -hmm. Data camp access, which is worth $300. Awesome. Yeah. So they will be getting, even if they're not able to make, they will be highly probably high probable chances chances that they will get something out of it. Mm. So as the tagline says for the event, an event where uh, everyone can win something. So there's experience <laughs> opportunities, prizes, yeah. access, this is nationwide, get a participation. certification. Yeah, this is this it's is really, awesome. And it's a real challenging data set. It's yeah. not like the like other data set. It's really industry level live data set you will be working on, every students you will be working on. So Last question then, what do they need to do? How do people get involved? So, first thing you come out is we are doing guest promotions. Mm -hmm. There is a registration link which will be there in our website, utdis.org. Okay. We'll have that down in the description notes for yeah. you guys. There will be RSVP links separately. We will be providing the rule documents mm -hmm. so that they are pretty much clear what is expected from this event and they don't prove up. Mm. And apart from that, our teams are doing promotions on every possible social media channels. For the teams who will be from outside Texas, our team is there to help them for finding the recommendations. Yeah, they will be a dedicated team who will be addressing their concerns and will help them out in finding places. Awesome, that's great. I'm excited. I think a lot of other people are going to be excited about this too. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing. Uh, best of luck this event. I think Thank it's going to be a big hit. I'm excited to see what 4.0 brings and who's going to win the big prize. Yeah. yeah. That'll be fun to hear. I'm looking forward to seeing all that on social media and following you guys. Thanks so much for joining us at Chai and Coaching. Loved having the uh, officers from IAS, uh, Karthike, Sedant with us. Uh, comment below if you've ever been a part of a hackathon. We'd love to hear what your experiences are like or any questions that you guys have. Don't forget to subscribe um, to Chai and Coaching so that we can stay connected. You get more great content to help you guys be successful here. And let's connect with Chai and Coaching and IAS on yeah. social media. These guys are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Let's continue to learn. Have some fun. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll we'll see you next time at Chai and Coaching. Best of luck at the hackathon. Yeah. See ya. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Bye-bye.